Okay, for me, it's really important that you understand how a contract works. So I'm going to show you in this specific video how a contract works so you can get a general idea what can you do and what you cannot do in certain kind of situation. So it's important to understand the structure of a contract. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. I'm waiting. Subscribe already. If you like this video, if you find the information in this video useful, seriously like it. It's for free. Just press the button. If you dislike this video, dislike it also. I can see what I can do better next time. It's that simple. So here you see the contract in the background. And what we are going to do right now is we are going to talk about how the structure of the contract is so you can understand how it technically works. And technically, this structure, they use it in a lot of contracts. So if you understand how this works, it can help you a lot with other contract. So first thing first, when you have a contract, it always looks like this. It can be a lot of pages, but the structure is technically always the same. You have an intro, you have a body, and you have an outro. Yeah. So technically, this is the intro. This is the body. And this is the outro. If you look at the intro, there are a couple of things that are really important in the intro. You need to have the name of both party and the name address. And you need to have the purpose of the contract. Why do you create a contract? Because when you have the purpose of the contract, you know when something goes wrong, you can always look at the contract. Why did we create the contract? So if you look at the body, most of the time you will find the agreements. It can be a lot. So this is everything you put in the body. And then you have the end, you have the signature. So the name and other stuff. What you need to keep in mind is this has to be the same as here. And the person that signed needs to be the same as here. It's that simple. And another thing that you need to keep in mind is that if this person isn't allowed to represent the company, that means the person is bound by this contract. So if I sign a contract on behalf of Apple and Apple didn't give me the permission to do that, I am bound by the contract, not Apple. That's something you need to keep in mind. Yeah. So this is technically the structure of the contract. In the next video, we'll talk more about the intro. I'm going to show you an intro where you can see in a contract the intro so you can get the general idea. Okay, I need to focus on this when I am filling the contract by myself. And this is the body. We also discussed it in another video. In the outro, we will also talk about it in another video. So if you have question about it, what you can do is you will find a link in the description that goes to the Discord. In the Discord, you'll find a text us channel. Go in the Texas channel, create a ticket, talk to me, talk to one of my teammates, and then uh, we will try to see if we can help you or not. It's that simple. So if you're new to this channel, you like this video, seriously, subscribe. Subscribe already. And I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.